Wardrobe in the City allows young women to have access to new outfits whenever they want for a fraction of the retail price. There's a concept called retail borrowing where consumers fraudulently return items that they've worn but they don't want to commit to purchasing an item that they may only wear once. Wardrobe in the City has two visions. The first is to make bedrooms wardrobeless. They want unlimited access on demand when they need it. A customer would pay a monthly subscription fee. Once you've received your three items, you can keep them for as long as you need them. It's thought that women wear 20% of their wardrobe 80% of the time. Clothing could be seen as an underutilised resource and so you will be better off sharing clothes rather than owning them. It's really annoying when you receive a call and you feel uncomfortable not to answer the call because really sensitive information you have to discuss. And another example was walking on the street in Manchester. It's always windy here. It's always windy or raining. It can really disrupt the communication. USPA is an innovative phone case. It helps you to have very clear communication, even in the noisiest environment. Put it in your phone, remove the microphone. It's a retractable microphone that can be pulled from the cover. It has a technology called contact microphone, so it has just to touch your neck and transform the vibration from your neck into an audio signal. It can pick up even a whisper. Neuralytics is a company that uses biometric data analysis from EEG and eye tracking to provide insights into consumer behaviour to allow marketing companies and retailers to optimise their marketing solutions. EEG measures electrical activity in the brain. We can analyse this by transforming it into frequency bands and then applying machine learning algorithms to determine the level of engagement or emotional responses towards what they were looking at. It's key that there's a link between the academic side and the, the commercial side because that's really the driver. It's a very translational effort. We have to design and develop a lot of classification algorithms and interpret that as happy, sad, engaged, not engaged and make it useful for a marketing person. We also do have a long-term goal of building a product which we can then provide to all marketers and then they can do their own data collection and then we will provide the data analysis service. Russell Foods locally sourced is a platform that democratizes the system with the farmers and the consumers and hopefully we are aiming to enable the customers and farmers and the other service providers to set the price themselves and go around some of the intermediaries which are controlling the market. It enables locally sourced products which are healthy to get to the customers at a lower and fairer price. Locally sourced basically help farmers in order to have direct access to the market, focus on what they're good at, which is harvesting, which is cultivating, which is working I mean, and growing and breeding, and let the system work, do the sales and marketing and the other things for them. What we are seeing ourselves is a disruptor of an industry that is very rigid and has a lot of inefficiencies. If Uber and Airbnb are changing the way that we are like transporting and experiencing hospitality industry, then why wouldn't technology is not trying to change the way that we are consuming or distributing our food? Basically, we're trying to bring technology to this very old-fashioned and rigid market. <laughs>